So today's video is on when to leave this warm weather and you gotta wait till at least March. If you don't wanna run into any cold weather, you gotta wait till at least March. Now, early March, you're still gonna run into cold weather. If I was to rush into Texas, Texas is cold. You know, it's a lot further south than say Minnesota, North Dakota and, and New York and places like that. Let me spit these seeds out. But it's cold. It's real cold. Even in April, you could be in Texas and run into some some sleet. You could run into some cold nights to where the water's freezing. I've had that happen, staying in Stinnett, Texas. And when I woke up in the morning, the hose going into my RV for water had a huge icicle hanging off of it. So it still gets real cold in the in the Midwest. Even, even in El Paso, it can still get pretty cold. But El Paso is normally where it starts to warm up a little bit. Uh, we'll stay in La Mesa. They got a free campsite there, which I really like a lot. That's probably one of my favorite ones in Texas is La Mesa. Uh, I like Littlefield, Texas too. But Littlefield is a really beat up town. It's an old oil town. It's really not that big, but it's not too small either. La Mesa is where it starts to warm up a little bit when you get south of La Mesa. But you get north of that, up into that panhandle, Perryton, and Perryton's as far north as you can go in Texas, and that panhandle. It's still really cold. Anywhere in the Midwest is still cold. So, yeah, definitely March at the earliest. And then if you were going to rush back, I would say wait till April. I like to go really slow. It usually takes me about a month to migrate back. I don't drive back, I migrate back. So for me, when I leave, if I leave, let's say I left March 1st, I would have to spend two weeks in Ajo because it's still warm in Ajo, Arizona. That's, that's plenty warm. That's warmer than Tucson. Tucson is right at the cutoff. If you're heading east, Tucson is the cutoff. I might force myself to wait in Yuma till the middle of March because I don't even know if I want to go through Ajo and even then I'm probably still going to have to go through Ajo because it's just you get antsy and it gets real hot like it's going to start getting hot here starting this weekend it's going to be in the mid to upper 80s probably I'd say it's going to be in the mid 80s for sure by this weekend so that's is what it is guys you got to stay in the desert for quite a while before it warms up yeah other than that, I'm going in tomorrow morning. I decided on Castle Dentist, as I believe the name of it, in Los Algodones. And my appointment's at 10 o'clock. And I told them that I wanted to have this back molar pulled. And the one, the first molar on top there, I want a root canal. And then she said, well, I'm not sure if it's going to need a crown. But I know it's going to need a crown. And it's going to be expensive. You know, I'm going to have to pull this money out of my emergency fund. Which I hate to do, but you can't. What do I do? Just take antibiotics for the rest of my life? I can't do that. You know, that's infections are serious. You can get septic shock from that and die. So $300 for a root canal. $300 for a crown. Minimum of $80 to pull that tooth, $200 if they have to do it surgically. So right there, you're looking at $680 minimum, $700. See, they said if I get that crown, which I'm going to have to get, that I'll have to come back next week. So since it's a Friday tomorrow, I'll have to sit the whole weekend with a janky tooth. But that's the way it goes, guys. I hope you're all doing well. I just wanted to give you a little update on how everything's going for me. The hummingbirds are really getting lively around here. They, they sense it. They know it's getting close to time. You guys up north hang in there, too. It's not much longer now. One more month, and it's going to be turning green. We're going to all be having a good time. So, All right. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching once again. Peace.